Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Thursday, the 13th of October, 2022. I'm David Kaplan. Let's get right into it. It's Thursday night football right here in our city. The Washington Commanders and our Chicago Bears are at Soldier Field tonight on Amazon. And if you're watching it in the Chicago area, you can also get it on Fox 32. And as soon as that game goes final, I mean as soon as Flip over to the football after show that I'll host with Dave Wanstead, Alex Brown, and Lance Briggs on NBC Sports Chicago. Or you can get Peggy Kaczynski and John Yurkovich on ESPN 1000 for great postgame coverage. A uh, couple of other notes about the Bears. Arlington Heights had another meeting on Wednesday, and they announced they are going to agree with the Bears and make a zoning change to allow a sports betting facility to be built in the village as long as it is part of a professional sports stadium complex. So as long as the Bears proceed with the plans, which I believe they will, to get their brand new stadium, they will be able to have a sports book right there. I do not expect a casino. I do expect a partnership with Rivers because that's owned by the Churchill Downs people, which own the land that the Bears are now purchasing uh, that Arlington Park racetrack used to sit on. So I do not think there'll be a casino, but there will be a sports wagering facility. Uh, again, the game tonight concerns me from a Bears perspective for this reason. A, they're not exceptionally talented. B, it's a desperate, wounded, banged up commander's team that has to get a win. They're one and four. And C, Carson Wentz has a tremendous record on Thursday night football. He is 6-0 and lifetime on Thursday nights. Last year, they won over the Jets. Yes, not a great team, but he was three touchdowns, zero interceptions. He is 15-2 to TDs to interceptions in his career on Thursday night football. And on top of it all, the last 10 trips to Chicago, the Washington football team is 9-1. and So I think it's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be close, and hopefully the Bears can pull it out. Hockey tonight. Blackhawks play back-to-back. They're in Vegas to take on a very talented Golden Knights team. Hawks lost their season opener last night. They were just outclassed. I mean, that that uh, Colorado Avalanche team raised the banner and had all their festivities and then hit the ice flying, beat the Hawks 5-2 to the final again tonight. Hawks in Vegas to take on the Golden Knights. Uh, baseball news, the Guardians-Yankees game has been postponed for tonight due to inclement weather in New York. They will try and play it at 12.07 Central on Friday. It'll be Shane Bieber against Nestor Cortez. That is what I like to call a dandy pitching matchup. Also, Carlos Correa of the Minnesota Twins is opting out of his three-year deal. He had an opt-out after one year. And he will go back into free agency. The Cubs are expected to be involved on his negotiations. And finally, don't forget, check out our How to Bet the Bears game for tonight's game. I have a same game parlay up there for you. Chance to make some money. I hit one on the Vikings game last week. So if you want to get frisky and have some fun, check out our videos. Just go right to our YouTube page. And I click my name as you're watching this. And you can have some fun tonight. Maybe we can all hit a same game parlay. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you. Take that.